The microcamper is located on the south coast of England in East Sussex, UK. My name is Anita. I'm a writer, content creator and a yoga teacher. And this is my car and my mini hotel, Monsieur Gustave. Gustave is a 2006 Fiat Doblo with a petrol engine. The area where Camper is located is green and quiet. Encased between the rolling hills of the South Downs and the sea, it is very much influenced by nature and attracts a thriving van life community. The camper van was originally a wheelchair accessible vehicle. It features a high roof with additional fitted windows and ample space that would once be used to transport a wheelchair or a mobility scooter. The concept was to use the micro camper as a day-to-day -day car whilst being able to turn it into a small home on wheels when needed without compromising on either of the functions. To achieve this goal, a module concept design has been used. A removable camper van conversion pod was installed in the boot of the car, allowing it to transform into a kitchen, lounge and bedroom, whilst leaving the original interior and the rear seating almost intact. The small footprint is maximized by the extra space and light that the heightened roof provides, allowing it to feel like a true camper van. There are several functions that the camper pod provides. The kitchen facilities can be accessed by pulling out a drawer with shelves that store a gas cooking stove, plates and other accessories. Although the stove is portable, the drawer provides protection from the wind and is a perfect place to cook and socialize. The stove is small, but it's enough to make meals for two people, including a barbecue function with the use of a removable grill plate. The other side of the pod is used as storage. It holds cooking pots, kettle, expandable water keg, and a folding table. It also has a mini bin that can expand too. Multifunctionality is key in any camper, especially a micro camper. The middle section of the pod can be used as a bench to enjoy an epic view or when removed, it functions as a table or a working desk. There are a number of ways to get electricity in the van. There is an electric hookup that enables connecting to the mains through a cable. However, since the van is mainly used for shorter trips, the preferred way is to use power banks for smaller devices or a portable power station like the Jackery for laptops or cameras. Jackery can be charged at home or through a solar panel on the go. There is no running water in the van, but a seven and a half liter water keg is sufficient for short trips. The design doesn't maximize the space available, which means that we've had to look for other simple ways to create storage. Two of the rear seats have been removed, creating extra space for bedding, tools and other camping essentials. There's also a backseat organizer and a backseat bin bag. The shelf above the driver's seat stores small, handy items. The camper van pod folds out, creating a bed that sleeps too. 
The cushions cover the wooden platform, acting as a mattress. The micro camper is primarily used during the warmer months, so heating options are basic. A thick sleeping bag and a hot water bottle provides enough warmth. USB powered lamp is used for light at night. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe to see more.